Uh, you know, Tom Izzo uh, is going to go in the Hall of Fame. This guy is in the same class. Here they are. Uh, and you've got ties to, really, you got ties to both teams out here. And, and um, what's it like for you? I, I mean, you're a hoop junkie. You, do you watch the NBA like crazy? How, and with what kind of an eye do you watch an NBA playoff game, Tom? Well, this has been interesting playoff games, if you ask me, with all the blowouts one way or another. And it's, um, so I'm looking for an incredible game tonight. I think the atmosphere is going to be great. I thought Golden State played a little better in the last game. They're going to have to play a lot better to win at home, I think. Uh, Draymond Green, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just wanted to, let's get Draymond Green out there yeah. because he played for you in Michigan State, obviously, and he's been in the middle of a lot of stuff in this series, Coach. Yeah, you know, uh, not all of it's been great, but um, I think he's been playing a little out of character in, in some ways. I thought he played better the last game, but... Uh, I didn't teach him that either. I wanted to know that. <laughs> oh, you took Chuck's question yeah, away from his yeah, question. I, I knew it. I, you, you messed up my question, Coach, because I wouldn't know if y'all practiced that field goal kicking on the weekend with Coach D'Antonio. Right, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, Coach, at Draymond Green's side, and uh, here he is when he was a college player. Hey, for Coach, you. you see that play right there? Clearly, y'all got a good buffet at Michigan State. Oh, my God. <laughs> totally, totally He's a different, different. player. Yeah. He's nope. a different player. Right now. Yeah. But the one thing that, that he's got able to fix, bring to the table, why do you think there's been some difficulty and what adjustment do you think, if you were coaching him, you would tell him to make to make the game easier? You know, I think he's just got to get back to the basics for him, you know, and uh, I think he's gotten – out of character a little bit, meaning let all these things get to him a little bit instead of worried about the rebounding, the passing, the things that he does to make a team win. Uh, he's been a good defender his whole career there, and uh, he's got to mess with their length. Their length has hurt him, you know, I think has hurt their whole team a little bit. They haven't been able to go as much small ball because of the length. Coach, uh, when I got to this level, one shoulder I could lean on was my college coach, Dale Brown. Do you and Draymond still have that type of relationship? Well, we really do. You know, I talk to him all the time, and uh, some of it's good, some of it's average, you know. But uh, I think that's what a coach or parent's job is, to tell him. But I've been proud of him. I mean, he's done a lot of things when you look at where he started and where he came from. And and I kind of look at this group here, and I each one of you went through that stage where you had to grow up and learn a little bit more, and I think that's what he's going through. Coach, you know, obviously it's a big summer for you and Shaquille. Congratulations to both of you. Who's like been the biggest influence in your life to help you get to the Hall of Fame? Well, you know, you, everybody's dad, I think, has a lot to do with it, and mine did, but uh, Judd Heathcote had a lot to do with mine. You know, he was such an incredible part for me. I worked for him for 12 years, and uh, he did a lot for me, so, uh, you know, I'd have to put him very high and maybe on the top of that list, along with a lot of players, some you work with, like yeah. Steve Smith, that... Uh, Made my job easier. Hey, Tom, when you won the national championship in 2000, Billy Donovan was on the other sideline for the University of Florida. When you look at what he's been able to do in his first year with the Thunder, how has his game translated or his his coaching translated to the NBA game? Well, I think Billy's done an incredible job, but, uh, you know, if you watch during the year, I think there's become more trust between player and coach, which has to be the way it is. No matter what level you're at, I, I saw them early in the year, middle of the year. They were a good team because they had two great players, but I think now they're the consummate team. They're moving the ball. They're doing so many different things. Uh, Westbrook has become a much better facilitator, and I think that's helped them. And so I think Billy's, you know, I don't know if it's a college influence. They're playing that little bit more Pac-Man defense. You, you know, to piggyback on that, you flirted with us a little bit. In the last three years about coming to the NBA, Billy's made the jump. You think you'd ever make that jump? Well, you're asking all the tough questions, <laughs> Charles. You're the guy that's really making it hard. But, you know, I, I love the NBA. I love college. I really do. I, I, I think there's so much more in the NBA than people think, too, as you guys know better than I do. But, you know, the one thing that is intriguing about the NBA always is basketball, 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 you know. And, um, I'm, I'm just pleased to be here with you guys. I'm enjoy the game tonight. I'm going golfing later on. You should try it for me, coach. Game, game six, pressure game. If you were coaching either team, what would be your notes? 
Well, you know, I, I think in game six, it almost becomes championship time. And I always say you can win some games one way, but when it gets near the championship or, you know, the end of the season for one, for one team possibly, I think you go back to the basics. You know, you got to be able to defend and rebound. But I think more importantly in this series, you can't turn the ball over like we've seen at times. Tom Izzo, thank you so much. Always great to see you. I'm thank waiting you. for the call, and Coach. I'm waiting for the call. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and hit him straight. Game six on the way here on TNT. We'll be back with more after this.